Hey everyone, Princeton Bear here, and today we're at Epcot in this uh, slightly rainy day for... It's hot a minute ago. It's still hot. But we're going to Takumite. Takumite, this restaurant just opened. Yes. It looks wonderful. We've seen pictures so far. We can't wait to go in and try this place. I'm probably going to get some whiskey of some sort, but uh, we're ready to go try it out. See what the uh, vegan versus non-vegan options are. Let's have another adventure. Sure, subscribe. You're a good girl. vegan front you get one option and it's pseudo modified they don't do substitutions here so they don't make new dishes basically so this is like a Japanese um, meal oh that's good it's really refreshing and light and perfect on a hot day and it is a hot day I just want the glasses here. The presentation is amazing. Gingery. Right on the Princess's Alley. I like it. It is refreshing, cool, crisp. It's got a little ginger beer taste to it. Usually I hate it because it's too much ginger beer. I'm going to give that one three and a half out of five claws. Whiskey sour. It doesn't taste like you're drinking alcohol. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's got like a lemony taste to it almost. If you're 
can't really describe it. It's just really good. They're both really good. As for me, I forget the name of this, but it's basically whiskey sour with cherry wood liquid smoke. Ooh, yes. Mm. Four or five plus. This is so magical. So the chef gave us this awesome black sesame tofu. It's got some wasabi on it. Oh, it's silken. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It almost tastes like a creamy peanut butter. This is really good. And then the, the greens that goes with it actually bounces really well. This is incredible. It really tastes like peanut butter. So. It looks amazing, pretty, beautiful. Mm. It does have like a nice, deep, like sesame butter sort of taste. Sort of like peanut butter, like the princess said. It sort of sets the mood. I like it. Plus, if you're not chopstick friendly, they do offer silverware, so you don't have to force yourself to do this. Mm. Four to five kilos. So I'm really excited to try this. It is watermelon, the rind and some ginger. Mmm! It's cold. It almost tastes like you're eating jello, but it's watermelon. It's really good. It's cold and sweet, but not too sweet. It's one of my favorites. It's almost like a dessert. So, we all know I'm not a fan of watermelon, but this might just be pretty enough to convince me. If there was ever an equivalent of like jumping in like an ice cold pond, like watch it over you, it was that. Five out of five. That was amazing. So I got a watermelon salad. You have to omit the tuna, but this is your only vegan option right now. I'm gonna try and grab all of this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, so I'm just gonna do like a two bite action thing. really tangy, but I can't place what it tastes like. It tastes like another fruit that I've had before. It's like just the fruit by itself. I want to say jackfruit, but no, it's like sweeter and tangier. Almost like a grapefruit meets watermelon, I guess. Something. Maybe it's the dot com. It's good. It's got some great flavors going on here.
but this is going to be a hard sell for me because two watermelon dishes in one day. Whew, if you know what it's going to do with this place is. on top because they put butter in the crumbs themselves so it's very easy and I'm excited for this. So 
almost like a rose candy, almost, but in like a gelatin form. There's no actual gelatin to it, we didn't check, but uh, it's different. A nice little experience, a burst of flavor when you bite into it, like you'd expect. It doesn't really pop on the plate, but in your mouth, it just kind of like falls apart. I would say if you come here, at least try it. Three out of five plus. Hi everyone, Prince of the Bear, and we just got out of Takumite. Takumite, the new Japanese experience restaurant in uh, Epcot. They've been open like approximately a week, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, over a week. They're taking reservations today. Today? today. Yeah, I think today. July 13th. 16th. 16th. July 16th. July 16th, we're going to start taking reservations. Should be today, or whenever we're posting this. But, um, thoughts? The experience is incredible. It is. From the time you walk through the door, even before you walk through the door, leading to your table, uh, before you even get your water, everything from in and in is a complete experience. It, it, they lead you from the culture, from the time you step in to the time you sit down. They explain everything in detail, the theming of the restaurant, it all ties in. Um, so literally your experience starts at the door. Uh, my one issue was the lack of vegan options, but I was assured and I feel a lot better knowing that the menu is ever evolving. It's gonna change seasonally, seasonally. it's gonna change even more than that maybe. And they are working on more plant-based options than what we got to experience. Well, yeah, right now they have a couple of vegetarian options that they are more than willing to alter to a degree. No substitutions. Degree. No period. substitutions. But they were they were able to remove some things so the things were vegan for the princess. Um, right now, I couldn't recommend it unless you were to say a vegetarian in an Omni. Like, but for, as far as vegan options, I'd wait a little bit. But definitely, the second the menu has changed, I would come here. Even their tofu has fish powder, so right. you got to be careful. Right. So definitely, you definitely want to talk to the chef here. Yes. To make chef sure. Awesome. Uh, he, he came out. They talked to us to make sure that everything's gonna be okay. They double checked everything to make sure. Um, but but as of right now, there's not a ton of options here. But the experience is is top level. It's here. worth it. It's top definitely level. worth it. I think. And we we will definitely be back. Yeah. Once they have an updated menu, I'm thinking this is like the perfect date night at Epcot. Yeah. Perfect I would date night. And it wasn't too expensive because we didn't do the. The tasting, tasting menu. menu. And we didn't get appetizers, so we just got a drink, an entree, and we shared a dessert, and it was like a hundred twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. So Yeah, but then like it's got the, the themed rooms are amazing. Um, each room has like a different feel to it, the the way that they serve you, everything. So it, it's definitely a, a new I think it adds a lot to It's a great addition yes. to Epcot. We felt totally secluded and in a whole nother we felt like we were in japan right but um well i would say it's a try once they get some vegan options i say try it anyway but i don't even like salad i like my salad <laughs> until next time be sure to subscribe you heard the girl for a little bit shall we yeah we, we haven't uh we have we have a seat in our water room today but we don't have it seated now so it's okay. a good time to go oh sweet definitely so so we have our wood room here Celebrates the Japanese element of wood and the different crafts involved with that. Japanese architectural pieces and some different craft work. And then I call this grandma's room because the, uh, <laughs> all the girls are like, oh, yeah, is that her house? <laughs> so it's, it's very traditional Japanese, very traditional Japanese. Very nice. I love the smell of the of this room. It's very, very it's rich. Nice. Very definitely so. And of course, the first room you know, we've been in there to celebrate the Japanese tukuri or pottery. Uh, that's, the, that's the feature of this room here. So we have different elements and how it affects the pottery. And uh, different regions of Japan have different pottery based on you know, different methods of making it. So it's, it embraces some of that culture.
table and he can always explain every single dish that we have uh, and how he makes it and the inspiration there as well. So you can you know, get a chance to uh, uh, talk to Chef and interact with him as well. I'm very special. So do you book this separately, this it would room? Be, yes, this would be separately. So this would be, we uh, make reservations for this internally. Okay. So we'd not be through the Disney reservation system or you might do the app or anything. That's why the cards. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. okay. Exactly. So if you'd like, you know, to, uh, to book this, feel free to call or email. Okay. And we can make that happen. Uh, we have a minimum of six. Uh, our table cover. Uh, yeah, minimum of six. Maximum of obviously eight. Uh, we don't do you know, chairs on hand or anything like okay. that. So we kind of keep it, keep it separate that way. It's only a week open now, so we're 